Hey YouTube. Today we are looking into Deploy RS, a tool that is very useful if you are managing multiple remote machines from Windows, Mac OS or Linux. One common challenge is when you don't run NixOS as your daily driver, you are missing on the NixOS rebuild command. And with that, you miss the ability to easily deploy a NixOS configuration to a remote machine. DeployRS solves exactly that problem. So today we will cover why DeployRS is great for non-NixOS users how to set up a basic deployment, how to actually deploy to a remote system, and just some general tips when it comes to handling DeployRS. So let's dive into it. Today I will show you this on a Windows virtual machine and I have a VS Code installation here. And in here I have just the code from one of my last video where I showed how you can easily configure NixOS with traffic for a reverse proxy setup. And I will just use this example to show you how to deploy from a Windows system to a remote NixOS machine. So when you have watched some of my other videos, you will often see me just do a NixOS rebuild command and then I just give it a target machine and just a remote sudo flag and then the whole thing will just deploy to the remote machine. And of course, as we are on Windows here, I don't have a NixOS rebuild command available here. And to solve this, we will use DeployRS in this case. So when I have my existing configuration here and I have my flag.nix file here, up here in the inputs, I will just add DeployRS to my flag inputs here. And I will also add it to my outputs here. And down here, I have my NixOS configurations here. And besides our NixOS configuration, we need to define deploy nodes for our target systems here that DeployRS can use to send the configuration over to the target machines and switch to the new configuration over there. The configuration of a deploy node is very straightforward and I have prepared this here. So here we define deploy.nodes and then we just give it a name. And in this case, I just have taken the same name as on my system configuration up here. And I define a host name, which is M3 Zelda in this case. And down here I define a profile here and in this case it is a system level profile because i want to send over a system configuration and here i define the ssh user and that is in this case the main user of my configuration and that is defined in my configuration.nix here over here and as you can see i have a simple password i have a username and uh, I added this user to the wheel group so it can execute pseudo commands. And here I have the public key for my user so I can use SSH to log into this machine. Then for the user here, the user within the profile needs to be the user that is the owner of the profile. And the system profile, of course, is owned by the root user. For example, if you would process a home manager configuration, you would have a regular user as the owner of the profile. And in order to get prompted for the sudo password, I just added interactive sudo equals true. And here we have a function that creates an activation for the given architecture here. And here we refer to the system configuration we want to use here. And as we are referring to self NixOS configurations, M3 Zelda, we are referring exactly up here. And as DeployRS is using SSH under the hood, we need to make a little bit of setup for SSH here. So first of all, I will just quickly create a config file 
in my user folder under .ssh slash config here. And then I will just open the file here and just add a basic SSH configuration here. This holds my username and the host name, which is the IP address of my remote server. And it will tell SSH which identity file to use in my .SSH folder. So the key authentication is working. And I can just save it. And the big advantage having a config like this, we don't need to type lengthy commands to access our remote machine here. So for example, when I want to connect to the machine, I can just SSH. And then I can just refer to the name of the configuration and it will lock me into my remote machine instantly. And the same can be used with DeployRS to make the login process very painless and easy. And now that I have my deploy node set up down here and my SSH configuration is set up, I can just remote deploy the whole configuration to my remote system here. So I would just open my terminal and now I can just execute Nix run and then I refer to deploy RS directly on GitHub and, and just give it the name of my deploy node here and I can just execute this. And now it will start deploying the system configuration from my Windows machine to the remote system. And as you can see, it checked my configuration here. And now it's prompting me for my pseudo password. So I give it my pseudo password for building the profile and activating the new configuration. And here you have a little bit of output what is happening. So it has created the environment file for traffic and reloaded the user units for my user here. And here you can see the activation has succeeded. And the whole deployment was successful and is confirmed here. And in order to have it a little bit easier next time, I can just as well install DeployRS to my profile here. Now I can just enter deploy and don't need to use it with Nix run here. And by the way, if you just enter deploy and you are in a flake folder, this will just go through all of the deployment nodes and just deploy them one after another. So if you have, I don't know, like 10 different systems and deploy nodes in there, you can easily just uh, deploy them all just with one command. I'll give it my root password. And of course, this will just work again. Now, when I clear this out and Let's say I log into my remote machine over SSH and have a look at the generations here. You can see that a new generation has been created a couple of minutes ago. And that of course is the one I deployed from the Windows machine to the server here. And of course I can just make some changes to my configuration. Let's say here I have environment system packages and let's say we add cow say here and pony say and then i just head back to my terminal and just enter deploy and then the node i want to deploy to and it will generate the configuration and send it over to the machine and activate the new configuration. Now I enter my root password again. And the deployment has been confirmed again. And I can just clear this out and SSH back into my server. And now enter pony say, and the pony will say hi. and. Uh, we can, of course, do a cow say hi, and this will also work. Now let's go through a couple of options that are available with deploy RS. So when I head over to the Git repo and just scroll a little bit down, 
You will have, of course, a couple of examples here. And here you get some extra options. As I mentioned, we have the SSH user and we have the user, which is the owner of the profile that we want to deploy to. And here you could uh, set the individual sudo command. And this one here, interactive sudo, we have also been using on our example because we wanted to be prompted for the sudo password. And here, for example, you have some SSH options. So for example, when you have SSH running on a non-default port, you can just uh, use this option to direct to the correct port here. And two very important options here are these two. You have auto rollback that is defaulting to true and magic rollback also defaulting to true. This means that when DeployRS is sending your system configuration and for some reason there's an error and the system configuration cannot be activated, then it will roll back automatically to the last configuration. So it will never leave you with a non-functional system here. There is only one thing you have to be aware of. So Sometimes when you make bigger changes to an XOS system, it might take a while to activate a new system configuration. And that depends on how many services have to be restarted. And therefore, you have this activation timeout here and the confirm timeout here. And when these are set too short, it might happen that the configuration is correct and that it would be activated, but the timer is going to zero and then deploy RS will just do the rollback. So when you encounter problems like this, you can easily just increase the timeouts here and then you're good to go. Deploy RS offers a seamless management solution for remote NixOS systems and you can use it from any platform and you are not dependent on having the NixOS rebuild command available. Whether you are on Windows, macOS or Linux, with DeployRS, you have the power to easily deploy to remote machines and you can also be sure that in case something goes wrong, the automatic rollback will reactivate the last working configuration for you. I hope this video makes it a little bit easier for you to deploy from your MacBook or your Windows machine to a NixOS server. If you like content like this, Please feel free to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.